now it's really delicious. You can you can just about cut it with this spoon. I'm actually eating it with a spoon. I mean, it's really good. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by the Brazos Forager channel where I show you how to get free food that's already available to you at your fingertips and show you how to cultivate the area that you already have available to you, whether it's a balcony or a backyard or a vacant NFL stadium. Whatever you got, there's always something you can do to cultivate and make more free food for yourself. All right, today, got a little treat for you. Well, it was more of a treat for me because I don't get much goat meat, but I got goat steaks today and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I make goat meat taste good. And if you're subscribing to me or if you follow me and know about my project where I'm off grid for a year, not spending any money, you're probably wondering, that's not part of the project. Why does he have goat steaks? Well, I'll explain it after this. All right, so for the easy way to do this, of course, the big problem is the flavor that some people complain about. I don't really have a problem with it, but it's all about seasoning. You just got to know the right seasons. I recommend using fresh lemon juice. This, however, is not. I don't have electricity, so I have to think of creative ways, and this is probably about three months old right here. I just put lemon in water, and if you put it thick enough, it'll last about six months. I don't recommend making lemonade out of something like that, but you can definitely use it as lemon juice, and it's pretty good, um, especially if you worry about some kind of contamination or something, it's gonna get cooked out. For those of you with electricity, just use fresh lemon juice, but I just put it on here liberally, put a lot on here, flip them over, put some more on, and there'll be a little bit of juice like you can kind of see right there, there's a little bit of juice left in on the plate. And then I start going with garlic salt. Uh, sprinkle garlic salt on here. Then I sprinkle some ginger on here. Then I sprinkle some turmeric. Just uh, The turmeric is a very small amount. And these are not measured amounts. You know, you just put a, a decent amount on there. The main ingredient that I put on here, probably the main thing, is the garlic powder and then I put chili powder and I, I put chili powder on I try to turn it just about red whenever I do it these have been sitting here overnight they've kind of soaked in a little bit but then I flip it over and do the exact same thing once I flip it over I'll do a little more lemon juice on it again and then I'll put some garlic powder and then some a little bit of turmeric then I'll do the chili powder put that on there pretty solid then I'll let that sit overnight now this morning I've already come through here and I put garlic salt on it I don't recommend any kind of salt product to stay overnight because the salt kind of draws the moisture out of it and it'll dry it out so I just do the garlic salt last thing because it does give it a lot of flavor but I don't want to dry it out I'll, I'll probably still wait till about 11 o'clock to go ahead and throw these on the grill and cook them but they should have really good flavor like that now I've also done a roast the exact same way the only difference was I put the roast in the Dutch oven and set it down in there and left it overnight with a little bit of apple cider vinegar just just enough to cover the bottom of the pan so there was kind of a mixture of lemon juice apple cider vinegar and then all these spices and stuff at the, the bottom. The key factor here is putting the right amount of spices on it, but you can't do that and wait 10 minutes. The key is you've got to do this the night before and let it soak in, and let it get that, let it mix up and get the flavor in the meat, and then you should be good. But, you know, don't say, oh, I tried all that stuff whenever you only did it an hour before you cooked or whatever. All right, what I've done here is I put it in this pan. That little clump there is just seasoning. I scraped every bit of extra seasoning off that I could put. The next step you would want to do is put some kind of oil in there. I do a half a cup, and it could be anything you want. It could be pig lard, or it could be um, vegetable oil, or I personally like the taste of coconut oil. But my personal situation right now, I'm a long way from any coconut oil. 
but it's best recipe wise to do some oil because goat is so lean that it's there's not going to be a lot of natural fat in it and that's the best thing now the next step is just to cook it on low just cut into it and see what you like you know if you like your steak medium or rare or however you want that's how long you'll need to cook it just do it on low and what I'm gonna do I've actually got a tree that got struck by lightning an oak tree so I will be putting it in some burnt ashes that are just still hot that's the way I cook it all right I'll see you when it's done all right here's the final product the only difference here is whenever you make yours it will probably be a little bit more juicy because you know like I said earlier I don't have oil so if you cook it with a little bit of oil you'll have a little more juice to it all right let me try it well it's really good according to me one other thing you could do onion you can always cook it with a little bit of onion but this is just fine to me tastes really good I hope y'all try it and I hope you like it all right now there's something else I thought I was done but I ended up doing this whenever I ate that steak it was actually way too chewy so what I did was I quit eating it I put it in a pot with water and started cooking it with beans and rice and I just put more of those same seasonings in there and cooked it for about four hours just real slow and now it's really delicious you can you can just about cut it with this spoon I'm actually eating it with a spoon right now so I mean it's really good all right I hope you got something out of that I hope it's useful to you the final product where I was able to cut it with a spoon like that was really really delicious it really didn't have that that aftertaste that goat aftertaste that some people complain about but for those of you who are wondering how I got the goat meat it's pretty simple if you watch my Instagram channel which is Brazos Forager um, you'll see that I had a three-legged goat at one time and he's no longer with us but of course, in the situation where I'm at, living off-grid, I don't have refrigeration or electricity. All I've got is just this 45-watt solar system charging my phone. So what I did was I had him put in a freezer about, it's about a little over an hour drive from here. So this week, I had some brought out to me as an exchange for something that I was trading out. Um, someone came to get my trailer and use it and you know he brought out the the goat steaks so it worked out really good and remember if you haven't watched my trading video yet watch the video on trading because really it's really important to start with family and to just utilize what you have that you can offer to people obviously a trailer or a pickup truck if you've got something like that man somebody's always going to want to use it and you can trade for stuff like that all right, so that's it for now. If you liked the video, like it. If you have any comments, put those below. I'll be glad to answer you if you got any questions. Have a good day, everybody.